just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Storm, Joaquin, Joaquin, whatever the hell his name is, Joaquin. You know, they give him a Spanish name because they want to fuck us. <laughs> no, listen, it's terrible. My hay fever is going, my phones come today. That's the most important thing. My phones come today. Anyway, just dropped off the wife. I'm going to go in the house and wait for the mailman. I'm in McDonald's and I'm in hot coffee. Yeah, it's crazy raining out there, so I had to wear my uh, ponchos, rain poncho. That's the way to walk around, you know. And, you know, I wear it. There you go. Better than an umbrella. And then it, the umbrella gets all windy and stuff, you know. So there you go. Here I am at McDonald's, and I'm vlogging. I just want to show you how I used to vlog. Not not with my camera, with my phone. This is when I first started vlogging back a year and a half ago. Uh, for my for this channel, I used to use this phone. And tomorrow, yes, I think tomorrow. I'm pretty sure tomorrow. If not by Friday, I'm going to be vlogging off the new camera, just to compare. Now look at this. Look at this camera, and then we'll look at the other one. Hey, how you like me now? <laughs> look, I'm all geared up. It, 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 it was pouring before, but now it's uh, drizzling. So I can hang out like this and not get too wet. Yeah, I'm bouncing around, doing what I gotta do. It's a miserable day in New York City with the two old guys show. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hey, guys, what's up? It is Saturday. I never did a Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Yeah, I just dropped the wife off at uh, her sister's house because she's going to be spending the weekend there. And I'm going to fend for myself here. And... Um, Everything is uh, everything's everything, you know. Uh, this is my my vlog today, and I want you to know that I'm using my iPhone 6s Plus. How's it look? I'm not using the camera today. That's right. And uh, I just want to see how it looks, you know. And uh, I guess uh, I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna take this shit in because it's fucking raining out here, man. To McDonald's the other night, right? It was pouring. I mean, pouring. I, I, I had a raincoat on. I think you saw me with my raincoat, my poncho raincoat. Yeah, and uh, I bought like a couple of things there. You know, I, I bought a couple of uh, fish sandwiches and I, I bought like a hamburger and a french fry. The hamburger was from my dog because he likes that. And uh, when I got home, there was no hamburger. I got totally pissed off, man. So, you know, uh, you got you to gotta look in the bag. You got to look at every item that you paid for. And I, I got the receipt here. And I'm going to go later on or tomorrow or something and claim my burger, man. Because I got it on my receipt and I didn't get to take it home. So immediately... Thereafter, I called up a guy at McDonald's, and he says he was the manager, and I got his name. So that way, I can uh, bring my receipt and say, listen, I paid for all this crap, and I didn't get my hamburger. It was the most important thing for my dog. All right, well, you know, you live and you learn. So I have dog food there. I gave him his dog food, and I uh, had a, some, 
some chicken uh, breast that I cooked for him and I gave him that, you know. But, you know, if I was in an emergency, forget about it. They'll screw me over. Yeah, the other thing is that I'm getting a little pissed off because a number of years ago, there were no cell phones. Well, I always had a cell phone, uh, you know, because I had a couple of businesses and stuff like that where I needed a cell phone. But nowadays, with everybody having a cell phone, you can't tell who's crazy or not. Remember, you could tell the crazy people back back in the day when they didn't have a cell phone and they're talking out loud. <laughs> but today, they fool you. I saw a lady talking out loud. And I looked for just to see if she had a cell phone. And she was crazy. She had no cell phone. <laughs> I had checked her out real good, but she didn't have a cell phone. She didn't have no plugs in the air or nothing. She didn't have a Bluetooth, anything, or even a phone in her hand. So she was talking to the air <laughs> or an evil spirit. What happens to me, man? So I was on the bus, right, a little while ago, and there's a lady, she sits right next to me. She's a middle-aged lady, and she starts rubbing her leg all over my leg. I couldn't believe it. I, I'm saying, is she crazy, or, or am I going out of my mind? Is she trying to make a pass at me or something? Yo, and this went on for about 10, 15 minutes. I, I couldn't believe it. I'm saying, oh my God. And at that point, I didn't know whether to punch her in the mouth or grab her and give her a wet kiss. <laughs> it only happens to me, man. Okay, I'll see you later with the Two Old Guys Show. Good morning, guys. Well, today is Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. And it's a Jewish holiday. How do you like that? Jews got a lot of holidays. What are they celebrating today? <sighs> I don't know. I try to keep up with different nationalities or what they're, what they're celebrating, but uh, it just gets out of hand sometimes. You know, so I, you know, I just don't know. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, weekend was good. You know, it was all right. Yeah, my wife went to her sister's house. My nephew had a birthday party, Dimitri, and uh, I was going to go back, back, but I wasn't feeling good. And the landlord was coming for his rent and. It got late. I got tired. You know, I'm an old man. And uh, anyway, but uh, she bought some remnants of the uh, party yesterday. Uh, she bought some food that was left over from the catering. Good food. And the kids came over. It was nice to see them. Always good to see them. And um, and then Manny came over to do some tattoo work. You should check him out. If you need a tattoo and you're in New York City, I like my hand. <laughs> And you're in New York City. <laughs> Why don't you hit me up and I can send Manny over there. He is excellent, excellent work and is reasonable. You know, uh, you don't have a store now. He'll come to your house, believe me. For money, he'll come to your house. Manny's a cool guy. You'll like him. Uh, anyway, um, let me see. Joe, Joe's under the weather like I was. Uh, this, this allergy is really kicking. It's not not that good. And uh, I need to shower, should shower and shave today. Uh, because, you know, I vegetated over the weekend. I definitely vegetated over the weekend. <laughs> uh, like I said, I got my, my phone. You know, I was going to do an unboxing, but everybody does an unboxing and it's ridiculous. What did I just drop? Did I drop money? I just, uh, but this is my phone. You know, I got the uh, space gray or whatever it is, you know. But it does the fingerprint thing, you know. You got Siri talks back to you. You go, hey Siri. And then uh, she'll wake up, you know. Like, well, I put a man's voice. I hate that girl's voice. I don't know why. You know, hey Siri. Are you there? Wherever you are, that's where I am. <laughs> I know that. All right, later. Anyway, uh, it's really a cool feature. 
it helps hands free uh, like if I need to make a phone call or something and I can't and I'm, I'm not mobile it'll call for me it'll call for me Siri is a nice guy I should change his name to something else I should call him serious anyway so uh, today's Monday I really got nothing to do today uh, I'm, I did some shopping over the weekend and I'm gonna I guess I gotta head inside and uh, eat a little something again because usually I have coffee and crackers in the morning uh, maybe I'll wait a little bit in a couple of hours you know, I feel a little too full. You know, it makes me feel sick. And, uh, and that's it. That's it. Oh, wait. Did I tell you the story about what happened to my phones? They were lost. I probably didn't. Anyway, let, let, let me tell you about the story. Uh, the phones came on Friday. And uh, the FedEx, you know, because, you know, they're, they're stupid. Um, lost my phone. They gave it to the wrong people. They went to the other building. Okay? They went to another building. And they went to the same apartment in another building. And gave it to how they confused it. I don't know. You know, it was in my wife's last name. Her maiden name. Because we, we didn't change on... She didn't change her name. Um, she's still using her maiden name. Except when she, she wants to be my wife. Then she uses her married name. But you could do that. Anyway, um, so anyway, um, they lost the, the, the freaking phones. They bought them over the next door to another person's house. Thank God we knew them people. Thank God. You know, and uh, it was a mix-up because the girl, uh, her, her father took the, um, the package thinking it was for his daughter's friend that has the same name as my wife, first name. And uh, and he always puts it on the side, but yeah, he he she called him up. We got in touch with her somehow on Facebook, and um, he he called. She called him up, and uh, he delivered the package that night, and that was, that was a relief because I I was cursed out FedEx man. I met, I told them they better get their ass down here and start doing something, and I you know I went off on them, and they don't care. They don't care. They want to we'll deal on Monday. No 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 no. No, no, FedEx sucks. Don't don't use FedEx. They leave your shit all over the place, man. If you don't sign for it, I've had cameras stolen from FedEx. At least uh, UPS, they come to your door. He'll ring your doorbell. FedEx never rings, never. They're thieves, man. They throw their shit. I've seen them throw stuff over the fences, and, and they don't give a shit because their insurance pays for it. They don't care about your stuff, FedEx. Don't use FedEx. They suck. That's going to be my, my title. Don't use FedEx. They suck. FedEx sucks. That's right. So, um, I'd rather go with UPS. I never had a problem with UPS. And how was it? So, we got the phones. I set them up and uh, that, that night. That's why I didn't do the unboxing. Everybody's doing unboxing. Uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, what do you want to see me do an unboxing for? You know? So, and then that was it. And uh, then the weekend happened. Here I am today. Jeez. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> yeah. It got a slow-mo feature. It got a lot of stuff, man. A lot, of, a lot of perks with this phone. 128 gigabytes. You know, I could do that with a 4K camera. Uh, mix uh, and uh, 3D pictures. Oh, it's the best. The best. Anyway. I don't want nobody out there jealous. It's a good phone. Uh, I, I've never had a, an up, you know, um, uh, an up-to-date phone or up-to-date car. Even my car, this car that I, I'm sitting in right now, it was used. You know, it was uh, two years old. But it was like a baby. It only had like 20-something thousand miles on it. Uh, you know, but still, I, you know, my first time buying something you know, that was expensive and that was uh, up to date, you know what I'm saying hey, I don't got too much to live, I'm 65 years old almost and uh, I, might as well, I can't take my money with me so, you know, you gotta spread the, spread the wealth and I, I don't mean not out there giving you money I, I, don't, I, got, I ain't got that type of money, but the little money that I have, you know, I'll spread a little bit if I can you know 
anyway I guess I'll let you go I'm gonna go inside and play with myself I mean you know with my phone and, you know, on the on the computer and stuff like that and then I'll, I'll see what's what later and if I feel like vlogging I will if I don't feel like vlogging I won't you know what I'm saying same time <laughs> Anyway, I, I told my wife this morning, I just want to let you know that this is my last winter in New York City. My last. I'm going to be 65. I want to see the world. Not really. I just want to move out of New York City. I want to die somewhere else. I want to die where it's warm and I got beaches and, uh, you know, tropical, you know, I, I don't know. Somewhere. I'm going to go. I'm going to find somewhere. If you don't want to go, I, listen, it's not that, uh, like, uh, you know, our marriage is like, I mean, it's, it's kind of stale, it's been over for a while, she knows it, I know it, we've talked about it, so I give her time for herself, give me time for myself, and that's it, alright guys, hey, how you like my new hairstyle, <laughs> yeah, I put uh, chicken fat in it today, just for you guys, yeah, here I am, man. I got to do a few things. I'm bouncing around, you know, trying to do the best I can with what I got. <laughs> so you know how it is with the two old guys show. Two old guys show. We're crazy. Yeah, I'm over here. Uh, I'll show you where I am. See the building behind me? Yeah, you see that? Yeah, well, my father fought there. That, that's half of uh, Sunnyside Gardens, this is the back end. It's a Jehovah Witness uh, temple. Yeah, they're using it. I don't know how long they've been using it, but it's uh, the back end of, of uh, Sunnyside Gardens at one time. And, uh, yeah, so I got to do a few things. I'll keep you in touch. Smoking's no good for you. Wednesday morning. It's only for my benefit, uh, so I know what day I'm on. <laughs> That's how I vlog, so I know where the, you know, where everything goes. It's Wednesday morning. It's uh. I had to drop the wife off early because they have an uh, audit this week, you know. Uh, audit is uh, when they come in, they audit, you know, they make sure that you're using all the supplies and everything, you know. I don't have to explain. Anyway, so yeah, I'm sitting here in the car and like I always do, you know, because, I, you know, people ask me. How come you don't walk around, you, you know, I'm not here to entertain you, I'm here to vlog, you know, uh, I mean, I am here to entertain you in a way, but I'm here to vlog, and plus I have a bum leg, man, it's hard for me to walk around, I'm not a young guy, man, if you like me, you like me, you don't like me, I'm sorry, you know, but this is the way I vlog, my brother too, you know, we just talk bullshit, <sighs> and tell you what's happening, it's, uh, it's a life vlog, you know, it's real life. This is real life, you know. We just uh, say things that we get off our chest and uh, whatever, you know. So, with that, I'm going to, you know, finish vlogging this week because I haven't put up a vlog in a few days. I'm getting up there. I got new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. You know who you are. I'll give you a shout out later on because I don't have your names with me. <laughs> But yeah, you know, it was, it's nice that I'm, I'm getting new, new, um, new blood, new subscribers. I thank you very much for um, doing that. I really do. It's like I love you guys. You know, um, everybody says that, but I do. I really do. I appreciate. Not even love. I appreciate you guys. Uh, love is an intense word. They use it too too easily. But I appreciate you guys. I appreciate that you like and you subscribe and you share these videos. And, uh, you know, any, 
I read all my comments, so if you need to comment or say hello, whatever, I would appreciate that too. You know, like I said, love is a strong word. When they say, I love you guys, that's pretty much bullshit. Because how can they love you? They don't even know you. But I appreciate everybody out there. I really do. I read your names. You know, I know who's who's uh, my subscribers. So I read your names, and that's my appreciation. And uh, we'll talk very soon. And uh, that's it. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share these videos. You know, and uh, from Joe and I, like always, well, I always say, um, if you're expecting more... You're sort of luck. <laughs> but anyway, listen. From Joe and I, from the bottom of our heart, you know, we appreciate you, all right? We, we really, 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 really do. <laughs> okay, guys. Ciao for now.